Welcome everyone back to weekly weather updates and in today's video we're going to have a look at the latest from the live radar run for the UKV, have a look at the precipitation and the temperature over the next five days. As the next few days are going to be a bit of a mix, we've got some unsettled cooler conditions pushing in for the north and the west. We'll be drier further south and eastwards but we are going to see those fresher conditions as well. However, as we have been seeing a little bit in the last couple of days, signs are that as we head into the weekend, we're going to see that warm air mass that did dominate early September return. Now, we're not going to be seeing heat wave conditions, I must stress that, but we could see temperatures rise back into the mid to maybe high 20s for the southeast. And the big difference for what could happen this weekend is instead of high pressure building in, like it did for much of last week, giving us hot, dry heat wave conditions low pressure is going to build in with that hot and humid air and some of the charts today are showing some extremely severe thunderstorms in places as that warm air moves in and it does get affected by that low pressure and instability so things could be getting warmer this weekend and we could see maps on saturday some mid to high 20s for areas in the south and the east but we could also see some extremely severe thunderstorms elsewhere as we do progress through sunday and monday the longer term outlook though is something we have explored quite extensively in the last couple of videos and it is continuing on the trend of potentially very unsettled and stormy conditions as we do progress into the second half of September. Yes, we're seeing this temporary plume of heat through the weekend, which will last maybe about 48 hours or so before getting swept away by a cold front. And as we head into next week, yeah, westerly winds are going to power up. X hurricanes and tropical systems are going to be influencing the jet stream. Could really power it up and give us a very unsettled and wet second half to September. So do remember if you enjoy my videos, make sure to like and subscribe, and remember to follow me on Twitter as well. The links in description. Now, if you start on the live radar, you can see the huge contrast we do actually have at the moment across parts of Western Scotland, Northern Ireland, parts of the Republic of Ireland. We do have quite a big weather front with some moderate to heavy rainfall moving in a typical Atlantic weather system. Now it is going to mainly only move in for northern areas, so southern areas are going to escape it, uh, or escape most of the cloud and rain, and have seen some plenty of sunny conditions in England and Wales, but we are in fresher, cooler conditions. Those humid air masses that did even linger for some into yesterday, where we did see a few odd thunderstorms in the south and east, all that humid air is now gone, and for the next few days until the weekend, we're into, into much fresher and cooler air. We can see that from the temperatures as around 3 p.m. Look at that, much lighter temperatures, uh, sorry, uh, yeah, uh, much lower temperatures, sorry, today, some lighter oranges indicating temperatures maybe nudging 20 or 21, but for the majority, uh, it's into the mid to high teens. So back towards more, uh, more like September averages, uh, as we do see Atlantic systems moving in for the next few days, for the winds do revert so southerly again for the weekend. Now, if you look at the latest UKV, you can see that weather front moving in for northern and western areas, mainly giving rain in the northern west over this evening, but it could transition slowly southwards through tomorrow and give a few areas of cloud and rain for Thursday. Now, what we see here through Thursday is this weather front becoming a bit stationary as we start to see the winds revert. Now, the mainly warm, hot air potentially won't move in until the weekend, but that wind direction will subtly shift through Thursday. And this is why we see this weather front becoming quite stationary, and it could give some really persistent rain for North Wales, Northern England, southern parts of the Republic of Ireland, for it slowly gets shifted northwards. And as we head into Friday and the weekend, you can see behind this weather front to the north and the west, it's much fresher Atlantic conditions to the south and the east. The warmth and the humidity is starting to build. And as we head into Saturday, there could be a few odd showers, but where we avoid those showers in that southeast corner, could see 28 maybe even 29 degrees and some have even called for the risk of a maybe an isolated 30 but it is very regional and you can see why it's not going to be a heat wave because we have got plenty of showers starting to break out in the west and those showers will just become more widespread and it looks like we're going to see repeated thundery uh, thundery uh, areas of thunderstorms developing as we do progress beyond that 
initially southwest England, a large area of heavy thundery rain developing into Sunday, perhaps some more thunderstorms breaking up more widely through Sunday afternoon. We could see a big showdown into Sunday evening, into Monday. Look at this, a massive line of extremely heavy and severe thunderstorms through the early hours of Monday there. Very high levels of Cape. We can see the mixed level Cape here. Very high levels of Cape feeding into these storms as we've got a very hot and humid air mass. It is very, very much a temporary pattern lasting two or three days at best. But when it does occur this weekend, it could be extremely lively. 28, 29 on Saturday and then the risk of widespread thunderstorms for many southern and even western areas where they don't see the heat could still see those thunderstorms through Sunday and Monday. Now the reason for this, if we look at the upper air temperatures, you can see by Thursday evening we have got a big temperature contrast, but the temperature contrast isn't uh, too high, maybe it's about 5 degrees. The south is in generally average to slightly above average air, the north is in average to below average. But as we progress into the weekend, you can see those air mass in the south starts to increase and warm up significantly for Saturday afternoon. This will pep up the rainfall in the north and increase those temperatures in the southeast corner, 14 or 15 degrees at 850 HPA, not, not as high as the 20 degrees we saw last week in some areas, but still considerable, still could get very warm conditions. And as it collides, that cooler air and low pressure mixes in, developing in the southwest here, that's where we could see some really severe thunderstorms. You can see on the mean sea level pressure here, we're seeing low pressure mixing in. We can see the transition as that low pressure moves up from the south and from the Bay of Biscay. Could give some extremely severe thunderstorms. You can see the dew points are very high in the southeast as well, up towards the mid to high teens. Dew points in Scotland down towards freezing just showing you the cool Atlantic or even Arctic origi uh, or origins for that air mass. That contrast, just developing all that rainfall, creating an extremely lively weekend potentially in places. Now, if you look at the raw two metre temperatures, Saturday is looking, as I said, really quite nice. Today, 20 degrees at best, but mostly mid to high teens. So a much cooler feel. I think a lot of people would appreciate that after the very hot and humid last 7 to 10 days many people have had. Into Thursday, similar conditions, maybe nudging slightly higher in the south and east, 22 or 23. As we start to see warmer nudging back in, but nothing significant yet. Further northwards, mid to high teens, under the weather front in northern England, Wales, more towards the low teens trapped under that cloud and rain. But other side of that weather front, it shouldn't be too bad. As we press into Friday, temperatures nudging up slightly higher for many parts of England, 23, maybe a 24, and maybe an odd 25 to the north of the weather front, 9 so maybe 14 degrees across parts of northern England, Scotland, Republic of Ireland, and Northern Ireland. Massive temperature contrast there, just showing you what is in store for the weekend. Now into Saturday, those uh, temperature contrasts peak. Look at that. London area, 27, 28, maybe a 29, or even an isolated 30. But that will just fuel those storms, and you can see into Sunday afternoon, you can see the far southeast could still nudge the low 20s. Parts of the Midlands, northwest England, 12 or 13 degrees, showing you that air mass, that cool air mass is slowly pushing back in, accompanied by those severe thunderstorms and areas of some very heavy rainfall as well. So it could be an extremely lively weekend coming up. Again, we will have a look at it in more detail later this week, Thursday. Uh, so looking at maybe tomorrow or probably maybe Saturday as we'll probably do a winter update, uh, winter look ahead, sorry, on Friday. So yeah, either tomorrow or Saturday, we'll have a much more detailed look at it, have a look at some of the short range runs, probably Saturday actually, as we'll be able to get the Arome run in there, so it only has about a 36 to 48 hour lead time. But yeah, very interesting to see what the, the other runs are showing, whether the UKV is overhyping the thunderstorm risk, or whether it is as severe as the UKV is making it out to be. But regardless what happens over the next five days, the longer term is looking pretty unsettled indeed. Now, if we do run through the latest GFS, you can see the westerly winds slowly coming back in this week. But you can see the low pressure developing towards the Bay of Biscay towards Saturday, pulling up a southerly wind initially, as we saw from 
the UKV. It's dry and hot through Saturday with a few showers further northwards. But as that low approaches further northwards through Sunday, you can see that instability moves in very quickly. And this is where we could see those severe thunderstorms breaking out on Sunday and into Monday as a really strong low pressure system develops to our north. As that all occurs, at the surface, it could be, as I said, a very lively 24-hour period. And you can see by Monday evening, all that hot and humid air is swept away in a matter of hours. And as that transition happens, it could be, as I said, very lively indeed. Beyond that, we, though, we go into a very strong westerly flow. Look, there's very strong low pressure to our north, very strong westerly winds. And we could pick up some of these extra-tropical systems thrown our way into the following week. And it could give very stormy conditions indeed. Very strong winds and could even be a named storm. Again, I'm not 100% sure how the naming would work, as this will be an extra-tropical system. Whether it will maintain its name or get renamed, I have to see what the Met Office do. But if it did come off like this with the centre of the low down to sort of 960 or 970 millibars here, yeah, 970 millibars here, I would expect this to potentially become as a named system, as you can see those maximum wind gusts we're looking at around 80 90 100 kilometers per hour that would equate to perhaps around 60 or 70 mile per hour wind gusts and again sustained winds could be 30 40 miles per hour so it could be extremely lively on its approach as we do progress beyond that we stay in a largely westerly flow that low does fill in so it does lose its intensity but still will give plenty of rainfall into the following weekend and we can see more lows approaching from the west again another extropical system really powering up staying more out to our north and our west so perhaps wouldn't impact us as severely as it could do but regardless will be very unsettled very windy and very rainy all the way to 384 hours where the wind is staying in from the west a very strong flat jet stream and if we do have a look at the accumulated precipitation look at that the whole of the british isles seeing rainfall around the 100 millimeter point or at least 50, 50 to 75 so most areas looking at multiple inches of rainfall in the next couple of weeks with most of that falling in the last sort of 10 days or so of this run so yes it could be a very lively weekend come up in terms of thunderstorms and then following that very quickly it could go really a bit stormy and windy with lots of heavy pouts of rainfall around. So yeah, starting this this September could be a very lively month, starting it with a heat wave, uh, sort of a seven to 10 day heat wave, depending on where you are, with that breaking down with some severe thunderstorms in places, a little of a lull this week with some less lively conditions, but still some rainfall around for this weekend, perhaps a brief uh, area of heat with more severe thunderstorms before we see a breakdown into another very stormy pattern as we do end the month. Very interesting to see how this does play out. If you do look at the GM now, uh, see how that does compare. Again, you can see the low pressure moving up from the south for this weekend, giving very lively conditions, beginning swept away all that humid air by a very strong westerly flow by the end of the weekend into the start of next week. And then again, another egg trouble system getting carried by the jet. Our, uh, pushing our way it does skirt the more north and west so perhaps not going to be as severe we're not going to impact as many areas but still will be lively uh, and all the way to day 10 just dominated by quite a big area of low pressure with cool air masses pushing in from the north and the west and you can see plenty of strong winds nothing too severe at this stage but plenty of strong winds and you can see another ex-tropical system out in the north atlantic heading our way uncertain exactly what track it will take but it is inevitably heading towards the north atlantic and towards northwest europe in some capacity if we finish by looking at the ecm wf again low pressure pushing up through this weekend giving a hot and thundery weekend in places and then westerly flow pushes in off the atlantic keeping it very unsettled all the way into the longer term. Now, Eastern WF flirts with a bit more high pressure blocking up towards Greenland and Iceland, and this isn't going to change the fortunes too much, but it could just about split the jet stream up a little bit and split these lows, meaning we've got one lobe of low pressure out in the North Atlantic and another lobe towards Scandinavia. Not joining them, meaning the uh, sort of the train of low pressure isn't as continuous. So here we see low pressure move through, quite a cold northerly wind 
In fact, the minus five ice firm is actually threatening some of the uh, islands to the north of Scotland. There, that would be very cool indeed to see the temperature deviation is well below average, six to eight degrees below average. Before eventually, we do see more lows coming in from the west with much more warm and humid air. So east of the west, very similar, a bit more blocking to the north, so sort of breaking up those lows a bit more, but still generally a very similar overall pattern. Now, after you finish by seeing the ensembles, you can see what we're in store for the next couple of weeks. Spike in heat this weekend. Again, we're looking at sort of the 13, 14, maybe 15 degree ice firms, and not the 20 degree ice firm that we saw last week, but still warm, still could deliver, I said, high 20s maybe on Saturday. But you see, you see the second half of this sort of two or three day warm spell, considerable precipitation picks up as we're likely to see severe thunderstorms. And as we head towards next Monday, you can see a big temperature drop off there as we do see low pressure return from the west, keeping us very unsettled and air masses oscillating above and below average. Sea level pressure is generally low over the next couple of weeks, especially around that early 20s of September, down towards 1,005 millibars or so. Again, that doesn't sound ridiculously low, but remember London is normally on the peripheries of the low pressure systems as they're normally centred further uh, westwards. And at this stage, we're not seeing any of the uh, models showing any direct impact from a low and of course, across the south or the east, most of them are skirting further north and westwards, where there'll be the most severe impacts. But equally, it could be uh, could be seeing some stronger winds and heavy rain elsewhere as well. Dew points, you can see it's spiking this week, weekend, especially through Sunday. And again, that's just going to help the formation of storms, giving us a very muggy feel. And you see the two weeks temperatures perhaps spiking again on Saturday, maybe mid to high 20s, for generally longer term. We're looking at mid to high teens uh, as we do, of course, descend towards the middle of autumn. If we finish by looking at the ECMWF ensembles, uh, very similar spike in heat this weekend up towards the low teens, 850 HPA. But big precipitation accompanies the end of that brief hot spell this weekend. And then generally longer term, we're average, uh, oscillating above and below with lots of rainfall. Very unsettled, potentially very windy pattern, stormy pattern in the longer term. So as I said, looking very lively over the next couple of weeks. A bit of a lull the next couple of days. Uh, again, there will be that rainfall in the north. There will be that weather front that does get a bit stationary and it's going to be pretty miserable underneath that. But if you are to the south or to north of that, which probably about 75, 80% people will be, it shouldn't be too bad over the next few days. It'll start to warm up probably from around Friday afternoon widely in the south and the east. And we're likely to see temperatures perhaps peak at 29 degrees on Saturday before thunderstorms move back in for the end of the weekend and then we could see a very stormy pattern dominate the next sort of week or so through September. So anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. Make sure you stay safe over the next couple of weeks. Uh, as I said, there could be some more lively weather around this September. It's shaping up to be a very variable month and we will just have to see exactly how it does develop. So make sure you do stay tuned to the videos. Of course, we'll keep you up to date with any warnings and of course the latest updates on any immediate uh, impacts coming up soon. So as I said, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I'll see you again for another video soon.